the thing I look with with Jerry Jones is he was 14 in the picture. He was a he, year younger than Emmett Till. That's what I want to say. One year younger than mm. Emmett Till. Emmett Till died or was murdered at 14. So these are two gentlemen in the same era who had two very experience, different experiences in the American project, right? He saw the ugliness of the of the social contagion of white racism, anti-black racism, firsthand. And even in a passive observer capacity, he went on and lived for the next 65 years. And the question is, did what imprint did that leave on him? Did he say, did, was he committed to like the, how can I best use my time, my energy, my resources to to improve this this thing? Or does he say, I'm gonna go make a ton of money with oil and then I'm gonna yeah, buy Yeah, does this, he just know? like look on curiously yeah. and you know, be like, well, I'm just gonna keep my money. That's crazy though. He could have, you know, I don't know. No, he could have years, if he could have done anything. He could have done, done anything. lots of things. And he had he a could, long time, including, six years. Including, be one of the coaches that hired, or one of the owners that hires a, hires a black coach. Instead, yeah. he does the exact opposite. He's one of the holdouts. He's one of the few coaches that's like sort of committed to like, Yo, no, you're not going to pressure me, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's like, you got to see this stuff firsthand, right? You got to see bullies um, hold on to and coerce and use violence to hold on to unfair privileges firsthand. It's not being 14, whatever, whatever. It's not some, oh, you know, it's not some offhand picture. It's like... Who are you after that? Because I feel like if I were in that kind of a situation, it would it would leave an imprint on me. You would I would I would change my yes. behavior would reflect a concern about that. And it seems like even on simple so something as simple and directly that he's powerfully enough able to employ a black coach. This is this is something he's like nah 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 nah, nah, nah. me who am I yeah to right. what plays real small. I I've only got a couple jobs for my children. You know yeah like. I've so, already done so much. I've employed a lot of black people. Like, exactly. See, uh, well, the players are all black, so... <laughs> yeah. I know, like, when I first learned about racism and slavery and segregation, I was like, what? That's wrong. That's shitty. And it's interesting to me that so many people in the 50s and 60s, when presented with, like, well, black people over there, it's just because of the color of their skin. And like they're bad and all this, and we're better just because the color of our skin. And like they were like, cool, okay, so we're not friends with them, we just don't, okay. They just accepted it. Like that's strange to me. Yeah, when you put it in the context of the evil and the ugliness and the harm and the sort of the, the stuff that was becoming very obvious, the national news, the lynchings, and all that stuff, it's really hard to just simply say that the man went on and lived a like, race-free life, where race has no matter in, in his life. I don't care about race, you know? It's like, the world does, and you exist and in And we this need world. you to, because, yeah. like, the world does. Like, all these systems that you're benefiting from do care about race. And, like, pretending that, like, well, well I don't know. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do. Like, I saw Stephen A. do a video reply, and it was like, and kind of disappointing. He's very oh defensive of you know his picture's so old. You gonna bring up a photo of him? Yeah. When he was 14, 15 years old, 65 or 66 years ago. We this is this is where cancer culture gets into the mix, and you're making an attempt to eradicate him, what he stands for, and all he has done. Bart Scott also, I was like, oh no. They were, a, I, when they were thing. like, These black men. you know, if my 14 year old daughter, I'm like, what? Witnessed white boys intimidating a bunch of black kids at a, at a mostly white school, your daughter would stand there and watch curiously? I, I have a 14 year old daughter and, you know, at 14, the, you know, I'm, and I'm satisfied with the answer that he, that he gave, that he was yeah, there out so of curiosity, curiosity. It wasn't like that he was there throwing something at, exactly. the, at the students. He wasn't out there yelling at him. There's no photo. It's right. a photo of him just saying, being Stand curious. It. What? It's weird to see black men defending this picture, you know? Strong black men, millionaires, all, all of them on that stage. Um, it and was like, very weird. If so, they can't say anything. That's what I'm saying. It's like, we gotta. Like, what message are you sending? You know, apart from that, too, I think people want to defend. They go, OK, first off, this is old and they want to defend their 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 childhood things and things they did that were wrong. And they also they also realize that even in the present, 
there are things that are true. There are groups being oppressed. There are ways of, um, you know, being in a privileged state and not acting with like a broader communal sense and not being helpful and present. They don't want anyone to have to go through that kind of scrutiny. You know what I mean? Including themselves, including Jerry Jones. Oh, now we're not judging anyone. It's tough. It's Too bad it's we so didn't have that kind of uh, grace for Emmett Till. Now we're finding finding it for, for the billionaires. We want to make sure the millionaires and billionaires it's weird. don't have to feel bad. You just got to call, say what things are, you know? Like, okay, so he was, you know, curious about that. Like I said, he could have been curious about seeing Dr. King live. You know, he could have been curious about seeing joining the student nonviolent yeah. community. And, and around that time would have been when Emmett Till's, like the the Jet magazine um, of Emmett Till, it, it, his funeral pictures, um, his open casket, would have gone out all around the country. You right. know, that which would have been curious to me, and so I would have been like, wow, how can I fucking help? Yeah, and there were several white people who lived in those times and live in this time and who were Was he a freedom writer after and, that? And, and behaved and yeah. all you could see a, a record of like deep um, conviction to, you know, understand their like, role and something. Their struggle is my struggle. Man, but, I can help. So, so Did that, he? that's where it is. I mean, that's where the judgment is. It's not, for me, it's, it doesn't mean any deeper than that, man. Like, this is the Cowboys. I, I never expected Jerry Jones to be a champion for civil rights or anything like this it's just odd to see black men on tv <laughs> justifying that picture defending the right of uh, of one of the people in the back of that picture to do that